In this video, you will find the best strategy option in this video. With all full strategies, we can enter by seeing all kinds of confirmations, but in this video, even the confirmations are optimized. The fact is that in general, RSI is obtained with a formula that ultimately comes from the price. Takes. Just like the number 10 comes after 9. So remember that whatever appears in the RSI concept can also be seen before in the price chart. The next point in the concept of RSI is that in this method, the higher the amount of noise, noise of RSI, the greater the error of this strategy. That's why so much traders use higher time frames in this method, which is wiser. Or, in order not to be caught by these interferences, they choose a chart for trading, which has a larger trading volume because the higher the trading volume, the lower the amount of noise in the RSI. Since the RSI formula is always fluctuating between the numbers 0 and 100, it can also show the reverse movements of the price trend at any moment. This is another point that they don't tell you in this method. In other words, when the RSI breaks the trend line, breakout, you can safely enter the trade, but after that the RSI returns to its previous path, you can see an example of these violations in the diagram below. Thank you for liking the video. Let's go to the most important strategy from which you can learn a lot. RSI period change. By default in the RSI formula, this value is based on the 14 period moving average. So if we check the formula in larger periods, we actually reduce the RSI sensitivity value, less noise. Some traders use the corresponding period equivalent value in the lower time frame to get better details of the price in lower time frames. They did. Maybe this issue seems a bit complicated in the RSI concept, but we will explain this more clearly with an example. For example, in the one hour time frame, the value of standard RSI periods is set to 14 periods. In other words, the RSI formula in this time frame is calculated for 14 one hour candles. Now we want to consider the equivalent value of its RSI period in the 30-minute time frame. Because each one-hour candle consists of two 30-minute candles, it is natural to double the RSI period, 28 periods, to consider it equivalent. By doing this, you can see more details of price fluctuations in the same previous time frame. Tip. This works much better than manipulating the value of RSI periods. More importantly, we recommend that you use several charts in different time frames side by side for a better understanding of price movements. Because large time frames always have a delay, we can compensate for this deficiency by using smaller time frames alongside them. Also, smaller time frames may have interference, or we may be caught by divergences that increase the error of our work. Always to find upward trends, we should look for bullish signs in larger time frames and then consider its effects in lower time frames. But to find downtrends, this is the reverse and we need to use smaller time frames. Identify the signs of falling and after identifying it, consider it in a higher time frame. But let's not forget that the bigger time frame always has priority over the smaller time frame. Thank you for watching the video so far. I hope you can make the most of it. Watch the video related to the strategy.